Hi guys and welcome to Fix Savers. If you're thinking of installing your own pool table, one of the fundamentals to ensure that you get right before the slates go onto the table is ensuring that you get your base frame perfectly level. What we're going to do in this video is have a look at that process. So we're now ready to look at leveling up the frame. Now uh, before you do that, there's uh, one thing to bear in mind, uh, depending on the type of pool table that you've got. This is a Brunswick heirloom table. As you'll see later in the video, this has a very simple uh, little kind of H frame that sits in the, uh, in the center for central support. Uh, so we're going to be putting that in after we've leveled up the table. However, if yours is uh, uh, quite complex and has uh, an interlocking section that runs in both directions, and you might well have uh, metal brackets screwed on the inside of your, uh, of your, out of your kind of outer framework here, um, then you might want to go ahead and get that installed, especially if they interlock, uh, the wooden slots interlock with one another, then it's a good idea to go ahead and get those uh, in place uh, before you move on to the levelling. Okay, so now what we need to do is start levelling up the table. And the first thing we need to identify is which is the highest point of the four legs. Because what we're going to do is we're going to level up the rest of the legs to that one that's uh, already set at the highest point. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our um, spirit levels and just go around each of the sides and just check when you put your spirit level on, is this leg higher or lower than this leg? Make a note of that and then move on to the side and again what you're looking for is uh, at this stage is just to identify which is the highest point of the four legs. So for example uh, we're close to level here but I actually have to lift this end of the uh, spirit level up a little bit only a few few millimeters to get that bang on. So that's telling me uh, that the um, leg on this side is obviously higher than the leg on that side. The leg on this side needs to come up to match the height of that one. So in this direction, that's the highest leg so far. And coming around to the side, I just did the, uh, the end here, coming around to this side, this is uh, the highest leg so far. Yeah, it just has to be lifted on this end, just a tiny bit, that's very close to level, just the tiniest bit there. Uh, to get this level. So this actually has to be lifted up, I'm exaggerating there, just a tiny little bit. So again, that's illustrating that this, this one is higher than this one. So I've come around to the opposite end, this is uh, our head of, uh, head of the table. Okay, so yeah, I have to lift this side a little bit to get it to align, uh, which is telling me that this one is higher than this one. And we already know that the uh, one in the opposite corner, just over there, is higher than this one here, and this one here is lower than this one here, so all um, everything's pointing towards that one as being our highest point. So we now have to level up the, uh, the other three legs to match the height of the highest leg. Now these are the uh, shims that actually came with it as a second hand table and these were the shims uh, that came with from the previous installation. These are the proper um, pool table installation shims and you see they're in uh, different thicknesses. Uh, we've got um, three different thicknesses, three or four different thicknesses there. Uh, so you can use those accordingly. You can buy these, um, although they can be quite expensive on places like uh, Amazon. Um, I don't know why, uh, but you have to buy quite a lot at any one time, probably far more than you need. You have to buy 25 or a 50 pack or whatever, so it might be quite expensive. The other thing you can use is uh, kind of any sort of uh, standard, um, these are window levelling shims. And so you can use this type of thing as well. The minimum uh, de denomination of these uh, tends to be one millimeter and come in different thicknesses. And uh, so if you were putting these underneath the uh, underneath the, uh, the foot, you would just put one in the middle. You might put two or three uh, dotted along the, uh, along the center so it's a nice even rise. Uh, but even, either way, that's what we need to do is find something that you is going to be nice and solid, uh, either plastic or rubber, to raise these by a small amount so we can get this perfectly level. So a quick tip for you when you're uh, leveling this up, obviously we're trying to get our bubble uh, dead central uh, in the little display window here. Uh, but rather than trying lifting it up, taking it out, lifting it up, what you can do is you can take your uh, shim, start with the, the thinnest one, and when you do this, try and make sure it's uh, level uh, with the with where it's actually going to be in relation to the, uh, the centre of your foot. Um, so obviously if you, if you move this up, it will create a bigger gap 
here, if that makes any sense. So where you place that is going to be the actual placement of where it would be under the foot. And then put that under there, check your level again, and then keep adjusting it as necessary, either with thicker shims uh, or multiple shims or different types of shims until you get it so you're 100% happy with it. And then you can literally just transfer that directly under the foot and you're good to go. Okay, so we've now got our frame level and we're happy with it, ready to proceed. Uh, it takes a little bit of uh, fiddling around. You might have to go backwards and forwards and um, you know fine tune it a little bit until you get it 100%. Just take your time and remember to always work from your highest point uh, outwards. Um, so don't keep going continuously around in a circle. Always work from that highest corner and work away from it and try and get it leveled up in that way. But eventually you will get it. Uh, first time you do it, it might take you a little bit of time, uh, but just stick with it, you will get it. But once you're level and you're good to go, we can look at the next stage. So once you've got your central frame in, it's always a good idea just to uh, test the, uh, the level, make sure that they're nice and flush across the top. Uh, if you find that it's sitting a little bit low and it needs to be raised up a little bit, you can always lift the whole thing uh, up from underneath and put a little bit of uh, packing material, very thin, in the little gap underneath there, and then just close it back down a little bit. That'll raise it up a little bit. Uh, if you have to uh, make it go down, then you can shave a little bit of the wood off, just uh, very carefully with a file or something like that. You don't want to shave much off. What you want to try and do is make sure they're nice and uh, flush across the top. So there we go, guys. That's our video on how to get your pool table frame perfectly level. And then obviously you can continue that process, uh, install the slates, uh, install your cloth, uh, do your rails. Uh, we've done uh, various videos on uh, pool table um, installation, all the different various components. So you might want to check out some of those videos as well. I'll add a list for you in the descriptive text below this video. Please do take a look at that if you think any of those may be useful. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Before you leave us, do us a favour in return. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you could hit subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again.